because when you got these, it can make you look bigger than you actually are. You feel like you can't find tops that won't make you look matronly. Listen, I've had that problem since I was a teenager. So I'm gonna show you some easy clothing tricks to dress a bigger bust that are gonna make you instantly look like you lost 10 pounds. First things first, you need to be in the right bra. If you have not gotten fitted for a bra within the last year, might be time to do so. You, you know, present company included. Things like weight gain and weight loss are things that can affect your bra size. And if you've changed the way that you dress, you might need a different bra style, boo. Not to mention, bras ain't built like our mama and grandmama's bra. You, you know, you might have to go ahead and put that thing into retirement. Three of the biggest, uh, no pun intended, <laughs> things to know about dressing a bigger bust are, number one, open that neckline. Two, don't smush your torso. And three, you gotta emphasize or create a waist. You know, it's very tempting to hide behind very loose, baggy clothing when, you, when you, you, your cup runneth over, right? It's very tempting. You know, I can understand if you do it, but don't do it. This actually has the opposite effect of what you're trying to do. It can actually make you look bulkier and bigger than you actually are. And in the case of a high neck, that mess may look like your boobs start from here and go all the way down to your waist. Instead, go for more open necklines. They balance the bust area, thus making you instantly look slimmer as compared to the higher neckline. Of course, this means that everything that's in your closet with a higher neckline must be burned immediately. No, I'm just kidding. You know, you probably don't want to keep buying higher necklines because you know, you, you want to make sure that you spend your coins on things that are going to make you look your best and not things that, you know, you may not wind up wearing down the line and you, you know, you're wasting your money. But for what you already own, what you can do, if you have a higher neckline, you can layer something on top that has more of an open neckline. So I forgot to film this clip before I return, you know, the high neck tops. So I actually don't own <laughs> tops that are, this is a high neck, but it still has the open neckline, so it's it still kind of like balances. So what I need you to do, friends, is pretend that this is all closed, right? So if you have a top that's like, you know, a very high neckline, and you know, I got my house shoes on. <laughs> if you have a top that's a very high neckline and you still kind of want to balance it, you can get a blazer like this, something with an open neckline, and when you put it on top, obviously something with an open neckline, it does help to balance the boob area, but you're gonna have to pretend that you can't see <laughs> that open. Okay, maybe this will help. Now, of course, what it's not gonna trick is the weather outside, so if it's hot and you do this, you know, you gonna be sweating. But you can try this with a blazer, a jacket, or a cardigan. Now, something you may not have realized when you have a bigger bust is that it can make your torso look shorter and wider. This is definitely a problem that I have. Now see, when you have the volume at the chest area and you shorten your torso, it can make you look more compact and visually add poundage and bulk to your frame. Now when you shorten your torso, it can affect the balance of your overall look. And when the balance of your overall look is off, your outfit is off. Now a visual demonstration of this, now it's no secret that, you know, plenty of your creators don't have a bottom on that makes sense for the top they got on because you know, you only seeing from here on up in the videos. However, a visual representation of this, if your boobs come down to here and then the waist line on your garment comes up to here, that shortens your torso, it turns the balance of your outfit off and it makes you look shorter, wider and more compact than if the torso were looking like that. So you know, this is something that you wanna keep in mind when you're putting your outfits together. I know we love a high waist because it does help sometimes with the fluffier tummy area, but you don't wanna go too high on the high waist if you have a fuller bust because it can add some visual poundage to your frame. Now, another slimming tip is to draw emphasis to your waist. Now. I kind of am conflicted about how many times I'm saying slimming and adding visual weight and bulk and things like that, that kind of language, because it's, you know, it's not always the best language that, you know, people want to hear when it comes to their bodies. But if you think of it in a way of what is going to make you feel the best, therefore, you know, it kind of helps you save money because you ain't going to be buying the stuff that don't make you look and feel your best. 
You, you feel me? You also have the option of, you know, turning off this video if you don't like, you know, the words and coming out my mouth. However, without either creating the illusion of a waste or drawing attention to your waist, you can have that dreaded loss of bust to belly separation. And that basically means that you just can't tell where your boobs end and your belly begins because it just looks like all one shape. Now, sometimes this can be really subtle in the case of these two different white outfits that I've worn. In the dress outfit, my bust area is balanced thanks to the open neckline. However, there really isn't an emphasis on the waist area. The waist is kind of getting lost there. You know, just a little bit. It doesn't look bad, but it's not like, ta-da, you know? And then the other white outfit, which yes again is my birthday outfit, and I'm gonna keep running it as long as it's a relevant example for future videos. My bad for the light, cause I, I drew the shades, but the light, the sun is just like, let there be light. And if I keep turning off the thing to adjust, it's, it, I ain't gonna finish this video. But in this birthday outfit, you can see that there's an emphasis on my waist area and I look longer and leaner than I do in the white dress outfit. And this doesn't only happen with billowy, more voluminous tops. This can also happen if a top is hugging too snugly in the belly area you're also going to get that loss of separation of bust and belly. Now, if you don't have a defined waist or if you lose the definition of your waist because of the garment that you have on, you can of course create the illusion of a waist with things like a bell. It can also be built into your garment, like some sort of design that's in the garment, something like ruching, something that has like a horizontal, almost like a cummerbund type of pattern within it that is at the waist area that gives the illusion of a waist. Sometimes you may even see garments where on the sides it has like these curved lines that kind of cinch in that's also something that can help to visually create a waist or it could even be something like peplum also side note i might be saying tops a lot in this video but the same principles apply with dresses and other types of garments in here you know so it's interchangeable now y'all don't be sitting there thinking just because you have a bigger chest area that you're subjected to boring tops oh no 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 you are actually opening up a whole new world of amazing tops. You just have to use the tips that I'm telling you in this video and apply it to your styling and purchasing of items. And especially remember the big bust trifecta of open neckline, elongate the torso, and emphasis on the waist. You can wear one shoulder styles, you can wear boat neck, sweetheart neckline. Now just a quick note here, just because something has an open neckline doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be amazing. As you can see from this shirt, it also is interfering with that bust to belly separation. You can also have strategically placed cutouts that make a top look less boring, may give it some more style and sexiness to it without showing a whole bunch of cleavage. And ain't nothing wrong with showing some cleavage. You know there's a time and a place. The world is your oyster, boo. Now also for my tall honeys out there, you definitely want to pay attention to how things are fitting lengthwise. When you have a fuller chest, and stuff doesn't really like, the, the length is not hidden. And that mask can look real young. And for my petite ladies out there, you also want to pay attention to the way that things fit because if something looks too big for you, it can add some visual bulk on your frame. Now, while watching some of the B-roll of the different tops that I've been wearing in this video, you might be thinking to yourself, girl, that doesn't look that bad. However, when you compare it to some of the better tops, you see the difference. And what do you want to spend your money on? Something that's, mm, it's okay, or something that looks amazing. Yeah, do a show. Now, before the light changes for like the 50th time in this video, tell me what you learned in this video in the comments. And if you're looking to dress around a fuller belly, there are some bottoms that you want to make sure you're not wearing. And I talk about it all in this next video, and I'll see you there.